If the path to your lover's heart uh, is through their stomach, make them a romantic Valentine's Day dinner. Tina's in the cook stack with uh, Laura McIntosh. Yes, part two here. Earlier, she made these great donuts uh, that were baked. Yes. With this yes. wonderful maple glaze. Yes. And, and see how nice they look with it when it's warm. When it's warm. Yes. And then dippy yes. dip versus yes. when it's cold. Right. Don't, don't dippy dip in the cold. Okay. Okay. So what are we doing here? So we're going to do a spread. This isn't your typical spread. Like hummus would be your typical spread. Yeah. Things like that, which I brought because a lot of folks do hummus for Super Bowl. Right. But this one is kind of an Italian thing. Oh. Yeah, I'm kind of excited about it. What okay. I'm, yeah, so I'm going to use... I wonder why. Well, I, I, you know, the Italian comes out on me. Ricotta cheese. Ricotta. Ricotta. Uh -huh. A beautiful ricotta cheese. Bella ricotta. Now I'm going to take some Sicilian olives. And Yum. Thanks to Cordy Brothers, they're already pitted. <laughs> <laughs> really and truly, you can buy them already pitted. So that's what I did do. Before I added these to this pan, I actually um, toasted some almonds and walnuts and set them aside. Okay. So once you get these in the pan, now you can put these in your food processor to cut them up or once they get in there, you can just smash them like I'm doing with my... Gotcha. Right? Mm -hmm. Easy, easy. And no then, oil? No oil. You don't okay. need it. Well, you've got a little bit of that oil from the nuts that you just toasted. Okay. So you've got a little bit of that going on. It's going to impart into the olives also. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're now going to add just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Just olive. Meat olive. Olive and olives together mm -hmm. make delicious. Okay. Once that's nice, you see the shine a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add... And these aren't really measured, so bear with me here. These We're going to add some capers. That's one of my favorites. You like capers? I love capers. And I like to add a little bit of the juice because why not? Yeah. And you're cooking it anyway, right? So it doesn't matter. Okay, so there you go. So you've got a little olive oil. You've got your um, olives. You've got your capers. We're going to add, to finish this off, mm -hmm. will you do the honors of mm -hmm. taking that cap mm -hmm. off? This is just a little bit of lemon uh, juice, freshly squeezed, and the zest. If you ever love lemon taste, you have to have the zest. You've got to have the zest. Yeah, it's so, so important. And you also have the, have the good zester. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. And you need to wash your lemons first when you zest them, because a lot of people just go for it, right? Yeah. And it's like, well, it's wait like, a second. Why does it taste like dirt? Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. Get the dirt out of there, the field debris, like we that? like to call it. This is a little bit of parsley. So we've added not many things. We've browned or toasted our almonds and walnuts. Mm -hmm. We've added Sicilian olives pitted. And then we've added a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of caper, lemon juice, parsley. Zest. Zest and voila. I love how you do this. It's done. Well, it's <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. And then we go over to the ricotta cheese. Okay. And we can do one of two things. I like to add this right to the ricotta, right on top like ricotta. this. The ricotta. The Okay, so you're putting this olive mixture on top right of the ricotta. Right on top. Cheese. Look at that. Right like that. Okay. And that looks then beautiful. I will take the nut mixture. You can actually put the nut mixture inside this mixture and mix it up. Okay. Or you can just sprinkle it on top. I like to sprinkle it on top a little bit. Okay. I like to take a little finishing salt. Put it on the top two. I see you have lemon here. Yeah. By oh, the way, this oh. is one of the best. It's old school. I'm saying it's old school, but it's one of the best zesters. Where did you get this? Oh, I had to hunt, but I found it. Not zester, is a juicer? A juicer, juicer? excuse me. Okay. Catches the seeds. Oh, and then smart. voila. Smart. Does it, smart. Right? So nice. Easy. And you yeah. don't have a big machine to clean. Yeah. So, and then I like to just do a little on top. Oh. Just on the outside, because I don't want it too much, oh. because the acid will curdle the ricotta. But it's oh, fine. I see, I see. All right, and there you go. That's your dip. You're done. So these Help. are the crackers we're using. So here? those are the crackers. They're little Italian crackers. You oh, want... everybody, come Hello. on over, Christine. Oh. Yeah, time studio to eat. audience of one, Latricia, Michael. Come on, we're gonna try this. So. Again, I wanted to make something really simple and easy that people oh. could do game day, mm -hmm. game day ready, um, or Valentine's mm. Day ready. So it's just, um, you, I love the awesome mm. ooze. That makes me, oh, oh, I love that. I'm just smelling mm. the olives. I know, it no, smells so good, yeah. right? They're mm. very fragrant mm. and, oh, wow. I mean, it's good, right? All right. You wouldn't know. Where do we find the recipe? Uh, website, bringithome.com. Instagram, Laura McIntosh underscore B-I-H for Bring It Home. Yes. It's all there, and it's simple, thank simple. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, nice and fresh. This is delicious. Yum. We will be right back. Okay. Oh, my. Yeah, it's good, right? It's the olives. It's got to be. And the red That's so good. so good. Mm.